Hey, happy Thursday. Got a sweet, cute little puppy here. I got these awesome treats that you gave us. Thank you so much. So what we are working on today are door manners. But first, let's work on a priming exercise, okay? I'm a Hershey. Um, I want you to be able to see him because he's so sh Oh, there he is. We'll angle this at my feet here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a priming exercise with him. I want you to do this next to door, so I want you to do this to get him used to going out. Come in. Come on, go out. Go. Come in. Sit. Good boy. Go out. Go out. Come back in. Good boy. Place. Place, place, so I'm teaching a place as well today. And all it is is that simple point with a place, stepping back, place. See how I lean back, I get that, that leg. ready to roll. So since we've got him nice and primed here by the by the um, back door, let's, oh, <coughs> Woo! sorry. <laughs> let's go to the front door. So this is where it gets serious because of, you know, doors can just be a bit dangerous. Oh shoot, I forgot to bring my table over. <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go. All right. So we are here by the front door, right there. So that's where we're looking. That's where we're looking, right there. Let's go back, get him used to this. Get him used to moving around a little bit, get his salmon bites ready. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, those are good. Come on, friend. All right, so door manners, they're very important. So I want you to be leashed up like this. I want you to have him nice and focused, nice and happy. I just worry about little guys like this slipping out. I don't think he's going to, but I still think door manners are so important for dogs learning their competency. Come back. So that's not what we want them to do. We want them to stop, look. Yes. Okay, go. Good boy, we walk out. We come back in, come on. Oh, we ask for a sit with the door open. Good job. Uh-uh. And close it. So actually, let's just put this on your back because you're so short, this leash gets caught. Go away. Ah. Yes. And so see, not all every dog is different. You know, I do the same kind of things with a lot of with a lot of dogs, with a lot of pet parents. But it's about really like you know, not every dog needs door manners. You know, it's not, I'm not worried about some dogs, but this is important for his safety. set himself right there and I always reward that. Good boy. Any sort of movement like that, I love. This is an easy one for him. He's not too intense about it, but you know, just whenever we are coming and going from the front door, if we're not together, he is always like being held by the other one. Not that he really tries. I've honestly had dogs that are way more intense with this but I just, I just very much worried about that. Good. All right, so let's move to 
this spot right here. Now this is a shorty. I see we're only at five minutes. Okay, so just look at my burks, look at your doggy. This is what's important. It's really important what my feet are doing and what he's doing. So that's why I really don't matter looking like a peanuts teacher just seeing my feet. Ah, ah, ah. So see, right here, come on. So see, he doesn't want to, come on. So what I don't do in that position is I do not put pressure on the leash. I lure him back. So that's why luring is so important the reason right there. See that foot right there? Get him into a sit. My training bubble, we're at a 90 degree angle. And let's go. This stuff right here is what's gonna be the most important. That's why I've been doing all these different kind of luring exercises with him. We're gonna get him to some social settings soon. Um, the, la the latter half of my week is not gonna be nearly as crazy as the first half, so, you know, but that actually is very helpful because I was able to get to know him, bond with him over these past few days. He's been our little nap machine. He's been napping with us. I was sending him voices in bed while Erica was napping and he just making biscuits on her back. He loved it. Come back. Touch. Good. So see right there? See how motivated he is? Go outside. Go. Touch. See, look at that. With a purpose. With a purpose. So let's try one little thing here. Good. Let's try one little thing. I saw this on Instagram literally an hour ago. I don't know if he'll do it, but let's see. I'm gonna try it with my dogs too, but since I'm right here. So essentially, the woman was uh, sitting with her back right here, like on like a, she could put her feet up like that. It's a little short for me. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Good boy. Come on. And she was getting her golden retriever puppy to jump over her leg. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. This is just for fun. to do it. Yeah, I don't think he want to. Come on. Sit. Okay. He says no, he didn't want to. So usually after training, you don't normally see this on camera, but we sit and I chill with him. Just like this. He's been doing a lot of this the past few days because I really needed him to be respectful and to be safe around the door. He should have some of those treats left that I'll give you whenever um, you pick them up. Good boy. So I just like to kind of sit here with him. Let him just kind of observe. So I love him to pieces. Yes, 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 I do. Yes, 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 I do. I'll stay home with you all day because you're such a good company. Such a fun boy to work with. Uh, we're going to be working on leave it tomorrow. So I'm going to be sitting on the ground with him, really working on impulse control stuff with him. Um, and then moving that into some socialization, um, some settling behaviors in public, stuff like that. So we'll start to kind of get him moving on that plane. So woo, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get him outside real quick. See how he does. We'll run outside and we'll end it there. Just so you can kind of see. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Go back in. Oh, yeah. Good boy. We love Hershey. All right, bye bye, y'all. <laughs>